This is the Staplex Model S620 NHL uh, dual head stapler. Uh, this will staple up to 40 sheets of 20 pound paper and it's going to use either the standard quarter inch staples or there's a longer length which is 932nd staple. And we'll go over some of the basic functions of this stapler. For loading, we have a lever that pops out the magazine and you just drop your staples in. And this stapler has a backstop that acts as the switch to activate the heads. So when you put your material in, it's going to hit the switch and fire both heads. And you can move that backstop back and forth depending on where you want the staple placement. I'll give a little bit of an example on that. We can just turn it on. Both heads are turned on. And we get our both staples. On the controls, we can turn off the left head if we wanted to just do single stapling. And that's just a switch there for left head stapling on and off. We also have controls for the impact of the staple heads. If we're just doing some light materials, a couple sheets of paper, you can run it low uh, and that decreases the impact, uh, the driving force. If we're going for heavier materials, we're going through 40 sheets of paper, we would increase that. The other controls were on auto or foot. So on auto, the staples, the stapling heads are fired by that switch that we talked about. Otherwise, there's an optional foot pedal, plugs in the back, and we'd switch it to that. And now that switch is deactivated, and it's stapling with the push of the foot pedal. And then that's just our on-off switch there. The staple heads are adjustable from either two inch on center out to seven and a half. And you simply move those heads by loosening the Phillips screws on the bottom and sliding your heads in or out. And that's the S620 NHL. I wanted to show a little side-by-side -side between the uh, Staplex S620 NHL and the 620 NFS. Um, the diff main differences are going to be you're going to see in the staple heads here. These are the standard staple heads, uh, whereas these have a cutout which allows you to get your fingers in a little closer to the staple heads. If you had uh, something smaller, like a small header card like this that might be going on a uh, poly bag, it allows me to get my fingers uh, in a little closer to help with that staple placement. Uh, whereas you see on the, uh, the model here, I wouldn't be able to get my fingers in that close. It's, it's best suited for larger materials that are going in uh, and hitting that backstop. And that's the other thing. This has the uh, adjustable backstop, which also is firing the staple, the staple heads. Uh, whereas the NFS does not have that uh, switched backstop. It does have adjustable backstops but they are not what's firing it. It's completely fired by the foot pedal. So you can adjust these backstops in and out with the thumb screw on the bottom uh, and that's going to give you a good level placement of your uh, staples on both sides. And if you, if you wanted we could add uh, these backstops one or two uh, to this model as well because it has the same slot for them back there. Uh, advantage of that is right now this is your only backstop with the switch and you might go in crooked with your material and now your staple isn't going to be at the same place uh, on the top. So we could add a backstop if needed on there. And that's the main differences I wanted to show between the NFS and the NHL.